Congratulations Apple, a market valuation of 3 trillion. Now I don't know how many zeros that is, but you can see it down here. Just a few days ago, they finally hit it. The first company to ever hit such a number, making it by far the most valuable company in the world. And I'm here to tell you the secret how they did it. And here it is, the $19 polishing cloth. Or maybe it's the $550 headphone that a lot of people actually call the eyebrow. And I can see the resemblance. But of course the question is, where is it gonna go from here? Will Apple manage to continue to grow going forward? Or is that a natural peak and it's only gonna go downhill from here? So let me take you through some numbers and what I think about it. And we're not here to discuss what is better, Microsoft, Google or Apple. I think the answer to that question is pretty clear. But in all seriousness, let's have a look into the numbers. The growth of Apple has been tremendous. I mean, the last year alone, they almost grew by over 30%, which is just mind boggling. What a growth in such a difficult year. If you would have invested 10 years ago, you would have had almost a 10x on your return. So if you would have invested $10,000 back then, it would be worth $100,000 today, which is just incredible. So when we look at the stock, it currently sits at $172. And you can see the market cap actually came down a little bit after the all time high of 3 trillion is now back to 2.8 trillion, which is still incredible high and that's natural because toward end of the year a lot of people are selling off their stocks due to tax loss harvesting reason and the beginning of the quarter is also very slow usually a lot of people seeing and waiting what the markets will do what the Fed will do where the interest and inflation will go so that's natural and it's actually a good buying opportunity to get into a slightly lower price. But overall, you can see great numbers here and they have a PE ratio price to earnings of 30. When I compare this to Tesla, for example, they have a PE ratio of 347. So there's so much more hopium baked into the price because a lot of people pay now for the future hopeful returns versus an Apple that's much more realistic and closer to the actual earnings level. So it's a much fairer price for the share. Then it's always important to look at the short interest. So that's basically people betting against the stock. And as you can see here, it's less than one percent because if a lot of people betting against the stock that wouldn't make me concerned because people would just try to find some negative news to get it out there so that the stock price would tank and they will make more money but here hardly anyone would bet against the most valuable company in the world maybe some unhappy workers at microsoft when we look at the revenue you can see continuous growth over time which really looks promising and that trend is most likely continuing to grow in the future another great thing what i really love about the stock is obviously the dividend it's one of the few tech stock that actually pays a dividend because most tech stock they reinvest their earnings into research and development to continue continue to grow. So hardly any of the big tech stocks are paying a dividend. So Apple being a tech stock and the most valuable company and at the same time paying a dividend is just incredible. And not only that, even though you could argue that the dividend of 0.51 is not really much, but over time it has been growing significantly, 9.81% for the last five years and continuous growth since nine years. So in the future, most likely this dividend is only continuing to grow. With regards to the analyst ratings, it also looks extremely promising. As you can see, most of them really make it a strong buy. The overall online sentiment, what people are saying on the web is very bullish, as you can see. A lot of people speak very positive. So that basically takes the online sentiment and tracks the semantics. Are most people positive towards the stock or negative? In this case, it's very clear and very bullish. The only thing to keep an eye on is that the hedge funds have started buying less of the stock because you can understand if a stock reached an all time high, that doesn't mean that they're selling all the positions, but they're just buying less because they think it's overheated for the moment. And insider trading, so that basically means people in the company have sold some of the shares. That's normal because you reach an all time high, it makes sense to cash out some of your positions to pay your taxes or buy a house or what have you. And that's not really worrying. It makes sense, right? If now all of them started selling their shares, I would be concerned, but that's not the case. But that some people cash out, that's normal. With regards to the price forecast, once again, you can see here a clear majority of people and analysts saying a buy. And then on the price side, I mean, some very wide uh, ranges. Uh, some of the analysts saying a low of $90, which would be less than half. So I'll be very astonished if that will happen. And if that happens, I think we have really a global problem. But the majority of people, the average actually says it will keep the price. And a lot of analysts projecting 2022 to move sideways. On the high side, it can reach $210, which will be yet another fantastic growth. Moreover, Apple actually sits on almost $200 billion in cash, which is absolutely massive mind-boggling more than any company in the world and almost as much money as the richest person in the world has in total net worth and that's great because that allows the company to grow because you can only grow so much organically but they may decide to venture into new business opportunities like they did for example when they bought the music app Shazam or the headphone manufacturer Beats so by having this cash on the sideline they can quickly absorb a new company and grow a new business stream and of course nobody knows how these difficult times continue and sitting on this pile of cash allows them to better and easier get through these challenges 
challenging times. Now let's have a look at the market capitalization because that really tracks the overall value of the company over time. I remember back in 2018 it was around when it was nearing the one trillion dollar valuation. I was close to investing but I thought to myself Kai at one trillion dollar where's it gonna go from there? It's impossible to continue to grow. How wrong I was. Look at how it exponentially started growing from there. I mean year after year. Now in hindsight I wish I would have invested but again nobody knows the future. But one learning from this was that market value is such an arbitrary number because 100 billion can be way too much for a certain company and 3 trillion can be potentially way too little for another company. As money loses value over time due to inflation. I mean look at the richest people in the world. Just a couple of years ago hitting 1 billion was already crazy money. Today there are so many people out there worth over 10 billion. So over time the value of money obviously decreases and that's why we be surprised if in a few years we would see companies valued five six seven potentially ten trillion dollars will it be apple quite possibly but what i'm saying is don't overvalue the market value it's a good indicator of how stocks are priced to each other relatively but don't over rely only on that number just in comparison the uk for example in 2020 had a total gdp of 2.7 trillion so actually apple is worth more than the entire gdp of the uk which once again is just incredible it's also very interesting if you actually look at where the revenue is coming from of course the iphone is still the most dominant revenue contributor in the company but as you can see here over time the blue line is the iphone actually becomes less and less relevant as apple keeps on growing and developing new business sectors but still year after year the iphone continues to grow and outperform expectations with regards to the ipad actually has been a bit of a roller coaster they had some difficult times but now with the latest gadgets and new processors because apple changed to their own processors it's become much more popular again and you can see the rise in revenues and here's one of the niches that's really interesting and very fastly growing with a huge upside potential wearables home and accessories so these are things like the home pod apple watches headphones etc these are all falling under here air tags which they recently came up with so that's been growing year after year and i honestly see a lot more room for growth going forward mac revenues are also very interesting i mean they sort of stabilized over the last few years until once again Again, they launched their new processors the m1 processor and since then uh, macbook sales have just taken off and uh, yeah you can see how the revenue uh, develops very nicely and here's one of the fastest growing niches for apple and that's services and you can see here the massive growth year after year after year and that's incredible and these services include things like icloud apple music apple tv apple arcade apple news apple fitness so all these subscription models and going forward as we accumulate more data and potentially enter the metaverse you're going to need more and more data and you need to store it somewhere so i think cloud computing as we can see with amazon and aws this is going to be a huge driver for revenue in the future. So where is Apple going to go from here? I mean, firstly, we have to give credit to this gentleman, the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook. When he took over from the former inspirational CEO of Apple, Steve Jobs, he really had big shoes to fill. But wow, what a job he did. So going forward, they will definitely continue their product ranges, what they have, and do iterations every year to make it that much better. Because why change a proven concept? There's still so much demand for their phones and iPads that they continue to make them better every year. The same with their watches, iPads, all these things that we already know, I think they're not going to stop any of those anytime soon and continue to use that as a baseline revenue driver. So what then are the next big thing to get them to 4 trillion and potentially more in the future? So one of the biggest thing and new areas for them to explore is the whole metaverse. We've seen recently Facebook rebranding the entire company to meta and more and more companies are kind of wanting to jump on the train. I personally think it's still many years out until we really get there. But as we get closer and people become more comfortable with the concept of metaverse, Apple will definitely be a huge player because they have both software and and hardware so naturally comes together and they have a competitive edge with their privacy people buy apple because of the privacy aspect so i think people entering the virtual world would naturally feel more closer to apple maybe than to other companies so i think they have a strong edge in that department and of course the long rumored apple car i mean nobody knows if it's going to happen or not but apple recently started hiring a lot of tesla car engineers and other car company manufacturers and why would you do that if you wouldn't have serious ambition to build your own car and again it makes natural sense a car these days becomes much much less a car as we used to have it but much more a technological vehicle on wheels it's about the battery the software and the entire symbiosis of hardware and software so i think that naturally is where apple is well positioned and could really have a competitive edge and we look at the market capitalization of tesla which is about one trillion so if they would enter the car sphere apple could easily add another trillion on top of the current market valuation and one more niche that isn't really known so much is that apple is actually quite strong in advertising even though they've recently banned a lot of advertisers to track their users and there was a lot of backlash against apple for doing this but the users actually appreciate that added privacy apple actually does their own advertising back when they started in 2018 on the apple store mostly it was around 
around half a billion. Today it's gonna come in at almost 5 billion and analysts projected to be worth 20 billion in 2024. So huge growth potential and that's gonna be a massive driver towards the overall performance and results of the company. So as you can see, Apple really deserves to be where it is today. I think they've done a stellar performance over the last few years. They're focusing on what they're already doing well, yet they continue to improve and develop new areas of business opportunities. And most importantly, leveraging their privacy, which a lot of people value. And I also think the ecosystem is a huge factor because once you start buying into the Apple ecosystem, you're kind of trapped in a good way. Because whenever I go out and buy a headphone, I will naturally buy an Apple headphone because it just seamlessly works with all my other devices. And of course, whenever I have to clean my new MacBook screen, I will probably have to buy that $19 Apple cleaning cloth. So with all these things that they're already doing well, plus that huge pile of cash that they're sitting on and the prospect opportunities of advertising, metaverse, added service, and potentially a car, I personally think there's way more room to grow in the future. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're gonna see five, six trillion coming up very soon. Now 22, as I said, might be sideward year, so it may not happen very soon, but I think as the overall markets increase, Apple will definitely do the same, if not outgrow other companies. And don't forget, when you invest into ETFs and the S&P 500, let's say, you technically own Apple as well, because the S&P 500 is rated by market capitalization. So Apple being the most valuable company in the world, they naturally have the biggest weighting in that index. And as more people buy the index, Apple is only going to get more valuable in the future. So if you ask me, am I going to buy the stock? My answer is, hmm absolutely freaking lootly. Next up, check out the video over here. As always, I thank you so much for watching, guys. It means the world to me. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Stay blessed, stay awesome, and happy investing.